Arturo Sprecaso here. Well, today we have a, a pretty unique show. I have a few new ideas that I want to throw at you guys, and uh, hopefully you guys will like today's paintings. I uh, thought I'd give you an update on what else is going on with Sprecaso. Uh, we're, we're beginning filming for the PBS show, which uh, we're pretty excited about it. I'd like to ask you guys a question before we begin. Uh, this is for the PBS show. Now, they want us to to begin Spray Castle with the basic uh, techniques, uh, which I agree. You know, there's still a lot of people out there that that are new to the world of spray paint. And but I also don't think that's very fair uh, to some of you fans that have been with Spray Castle all the way from the beginning, so you guys know all the basic techniques. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe for show having a a beginner level tutorial. Uh, we want to do. We're gonna try and do two paintings per per show. So I was thinking maybe one of those paintings can be a beginner level. Uh, the next one could be intermediate level, and then on the next show have a beginner again, or maybe an intermediate and then advanced. And you know, kind of change it up a little bit. It's up to you guys. Uh, leave me some comments. I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, you guys are the audience, so I'm definitely interested in seeing what you guys have to say about it and how you would like to see this Spraycastle show being run. Alright, well if you guys are ready, grab your masks, we say we begin, huh? And I'm going to start with perhaps maybe a little bit of blue. A little bit of orange. Just like so. Red on the bottom. And a little bit of yellow. Right about here. Just like so. Good. Now the eagle, I'm going to put it down here. It's not going to be very big. I'm going to add a little bit of brown, orange for our highlights, yellow for the same purpose. Just like so. Okay. So now we have our background and our eagle here on the front. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit of white. I'm going to go ahead and cover part of that eagle. It's going to be the top. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. This will be the highlight top of the eagle. And here on this top part, I believe I'm going to add a little bit of purple. So, I'm add a little bit more blue to make the transition. Very nice. I like the way this is coming out. Orange. And again, a little bit of yellow right here in the middle. All right. Now here on this bottom part, I am just going to add a light layer of blue. purple on the bottom. It's okay if you get some on your eagle. Okay, maybe a little bit of orange just to, to get a nice mixture on those those two colors that we just sprayed. Now with the spray castle tool, we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna add something like this. Okay. And then here, I'm just going to make quick strokes this way. Just 
See that? Coming out, huh? Okay, we're going to do the same over here, except on this part. I'm going to use the broader end of the spray castle tool. And I'm going to come out and do something like that. There you go. Now if your paint begins to dry, use a little bit of clear coat. Now, from here we're going to go ahead and create some fillers coming down. We're just adding a little bit of highlight by removing some of the paint. Okay, I'm going to add the back of the eagle. Now here, I'm going to make it a bold eagle, so I'm going to scratch off a little, a little more paint. So I'm going to press harder to remove some of that paint. this okay now then we're also going to work on this bottom part I'm going to make his his legs now this is all just using the spray castle tool working on some highlights. There is a few other techniques in which you can do this, but as a beginner purpose, I feel this will give you the better idea or concept of how to create something like this, just using a spray castle tool. Especially, as I understand you guys don't have too much time to uh, to spend cutting out a stencil when you're uh, spray painting uh, live. Okay, now I'm just gonna mixing those two real good together to get a dark brown out of it. We're gonna add some 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 darker areas to this wing. Now in the same sheet where I sprayed my brown and my black, I'm going to add a little bit of purple. A little bit more black. I'm going to mix those two. With a little bit of that brown underneath there. Okay. We'll add some color to our eagle. Okay. Now, we're going to make this the bottom part. So all I'm doing is I'm just touching up that spot with a little bit of our purple just like so perhaps we'll add a little bit over here gonna work that in there some over here Now we're also going to add just a tad up here at the top. We're going to kind of blend that in with the brown, just like so. Now here, 
I am just mixing a little bit of white, some of those colors underneath. And that will give us our plumage on the head. Yeah, is that coming out? And once you guys get more practice with this, you'll be able to create this eagle real quick. Somebody tells you, oh, you know, I'd like an eagle on, on my spray painting. Well, it just takes a little bit of practice, guys, and you'll be able to create something. Just a few minutes just by knowing how to manipulate your spray paints a little bit. This technique is a little difficult and I understand that. Um, I know most of you guys that uh, perform live don't have too much time to actually sit here and mix the colors in that, in that, you know, in that order. But uh, I encourage you to try it. Um, I think you're going to see uh, a lot of possibilities of where this, this technique can take your, uh, your painting style or uh, your technique as well uh, to a whole new level. So uh, practice it whenever you're not out there spray painting uh, live. And uh, like I said, after a while you'll get in the, in the groove of things, so you'll be able to perform this technique in no time. Uh, it just comes second nature to you, do it real quick. Uh, I encourage you guys to try it. Give it a try. Let's continue on the detail here. Let's go back with this Picasso tool and add some finer details. See that? I'm just going to come through and add a little bit of highlights. Maybe I have a little highlight right here. You know, I used to work at the Living Desert. It's, uh, it's a zoo here in Carlsbad and I worked there for many years. And the eagle was by far my favorite animal. And uh, don't get me wrong, I like them all. But there's just something very majestic about the eagle. There you go. Something like that. Well, we can keep adding to this painting. And I believe I will. Let's work on the feet here. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of clear coat and maybe um, we can come in here and draw its talons. All I'm doing is just scratching the paint. Like this. talons on top, one on the bottom. I'll add the third one right there. Just like so. Then I'll transition that from a light green to a darker green. Right? We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of black to those three colors. Do you see what I'm doing? I am adding dimension to this plant life in the background. So you can see where the sun is hitting it. And it transitions from a light green to a dark green to a black. Now here on this bottom part, we're going to try and mimic what we did on the top. Just not with colors. Try and do something like this, right? Something like that. Okay, that looks good enough. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, just a quick spray, just like so. Be careful not to get 
too much uh, glue on your eagle. All right, just like that, just so you can see that there is blue here. A little bit of white. It's gonna come through. And there we go. Now look at that. We've created a nice scenery in the background, and we're still not done with this painting. What I'm gonna do. go ahead and add another layer to this. I believe we'll make this one right here. Just like so. I'm going to do the same thing that I did over here, but this time it's going to be over here. And I'm going to add my light green again. Just maybe about there. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my darker green, just like so, now with some black, okay, we're going to try and mimic that over here as well on this side. another layer to our painting. Again with a little bit of blue. Quick spray. Do you see that? It's just real quick. A little bit of white. Right there. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Well, we'll make this painting look really nice. Make sure you practice it often with this ones before you try it. So I'm going to add a really bright sun to this painting. So we'll add it right there, right in the middle of that that yellow. See how we prepared for it? We had the orange and then we had the, the other darker colors on top of that and then we added that small bit of white right behind it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some light reflections here on the on our painting. All I'm doing is just a little bit of white, just like so. And perhaps we can go back here and add some some rays. Not very bright, just enough. Something like that. Come over here. What do you think? I think it looks pretty nice. Now, adding the highlights is, uh, is very important. Uh, it will not only give dimension to your painting, it will give a, it'll make it a, a more realistic painting as well uh, because you have light reflecting off, in this case, the feathers. So uh, it's very important to, to add highlights. Um, it, well, if you want to make your painting look more realistic. So keep that in mind as we continue with, with our painting. This ad, this is using the Spray Castle funnel, we're going to come in here and add a different layer, a silhouette layer. And in this layer, this is going to be a tree that is closer to us, just like so. Uh, perhaps we can add some more branches to it, make it look a little more realistic. See that? Maybe we can add a smaller one right here in the distance. Maybe there's a tree here closest to us. And our eagle is going to land on it. So we're going to... Of course, this is going to be thicker than this. We just need to get the outline. Maybe this branch will be somewhere right here. What do you think? There you go. That's similar to the branch that we had there at the zoo. And that's where the eagles really like to stand on.
go. Now to add some some uh, highlights to the tree, you can come over here with the spray castle tool and scratch off a little bit. And uh, just gonna tap it, make some 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 lines in there, you know, make the tree look a little more realistic. All right, crew. Well, you know, of course, you can add some clouds to this. Uh, maybe a little bit more in the water. Just like so. Maybe a quick spray of, of white. Make some clouds back there. See that? Okay, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. It's a lot of fun making it. Until next time, folks.